Hey guys, I'm in my room and I'm scared and I'm like terrified to go downstairs. Pray for me guys. Hello my fellow snippers, flighters, and newbies. My name is Marlene McCohen and this here is my baby mustache parakeet Brando. And we are going old school today. I know a lot of you guys miss story time Sunday because you just got to sit with me, have a cup of tea, put on your makeup, do whatever you do while I tell you a story. That's a lot of fun for me too. But first I wanna tell you guys why I veered away from story time Sunday. I didn't actually veer away from it. I just started showing you the story. So instead of me sitting down here and saying, this is what happened, I've been able to pull out a camera and show you a lot about what's happening when it's happening. So instead of being like, guess what? And then a guy came over and Vinny dive bombed him. I'm like, Vinny's gonna dive bomb George. So let me just pull out the camera. But this video, I was not prepared for at all. So I think you guys are gonna like it. After I discovered what was happening, I did get some footage of me. I won't even go into details. Before we go on, for those of you wondering what sniffers are, it's those of us who love birds and the smell of them because honestly they smell like flowers and amazing things. It's just beautiful. Flighters, those are those of you who help support my channel on Patreon and my work on getting videos out that are both entertaining, educational, and just showing you guys my life with parrots. And newbies are those of you who are just welcome to my channel to have fun, laugh, and enjoy. I also feel like I gotta say, you guys probably realize that I haven't posted a video in a while and I rarely ever do that. I'm really good about my schedule, but we knew that a family member was dying of pancreatic cancer and that he didn't have much time left. And this person's like a father to George. So we decided to go there and be able to be with him in his final days. And that is exactly what we did. And I didn't film. I didn't focus on anything. I just honestly went there to be with him. I didn't worry about the channel. I knew I had a movie coming up that I had to come back to. So I had to come back here earlier than George. Sadly, when we were there he passed away and then we were there for the funeral and George stayed on to help the family and take care of some other things. It was pretty sad and I had to come back into the house myself and as you guys know I love to do videos that are like my parrot's reaction when I come home from different vacations. Most of you love these videos and ask me on Instagram are you gonna do a reaction video with them? So I really wanted to do that but it's hard because I'm like all alone and I gotta like you know open them up. It's better when like we're both there. So I wasn't planning on doing that video to be honest with you. I just thought I'd come home relax and take in what happened and I knew I would be alone. So I texted one of my friends from acting class. I arrived at Friday about 7 p.m. and I had acting class the next morning at 10 a.m. which means I have to kind of get up at like 7 30 get ready and be over the hill. That's West Hollywood. But at the same time, me and LL, that's my friend who you guys met, you've seen her on my channel. Who is a little jealous right now, I think. Who is really jealous? <laughs> we had rehearsing to do. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to come home. She would come over, I would order us dinner, and then we would rehearse and then be ready for class in the morning. So I get here and I open the door and I'm very excited to see all of my birds. I start walking through, opening all the cages, giving them kisses, visiting each and every single one of them. And then I realized, okay, I just need to kind of go upstairs, kind of get in my pajamas, get organized, and then I'll come downstairs and play with them and let the crazy ones out. Some of them are crazy and I just gotta wait till I'm like really settled to like let them out because I wouldn't be able to leave for a few minutes. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that before we left there was a flood in the house literally upstairs started flooding the downstairs. Come look at this. Oh. <laughs> this is what happens George when you fall asleep in the shower. Don't even go there. Don't but even put it on video. Don't even put it on video. And and so as is, now we can't shower in our bathroom until it gets fixed. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out on a lot of action because I am so on top of my Instagram story. So you're probably very up and in on all of this. 
So I'm upstairs and I'm all alone and I decide, you know what? I'm gonna go take a peek in my parents' room. So we have this room in our house that belongs to my parents, except my parents kind of are only here once a year because they live in Ireland. But when they come, all their stuff is in the room and that's where they go. But I redid it for them. Like I totally redesigned the room and George put in a new TV and we like lied to mom and we said, oh, I took down your TV. And she's like, are you mad? What am I going to do over there? We're not coming. I'm canceling the flight, George. Tell them, tell them, George. And we're like, <laughs> so I'll go in, close your eyes. Close your eyes, Dad. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. They're until closed. Oh. So I was really proud of my work, so I decided to go into the room and just kind of look at it because we left very quickly. So I just kind of wanted to take a peek at my work because I know my parents are arriving soon. They're actually arriving like within an hour of me filming this video. But as I'm walking upstairs from my room to that room, it's kind of dark. I hear a woman with kind of a deep voice, kind of a high pitched voice walk into the house and say, hello. And I literally was like frozen. If you guys know the design of my house, I was in the hallway and it sounded like it was at the front door, but it also sounded like it was in the room I was about to enter. I start backing up and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, hello. Now, you guys know like birds talk. So I know the first thing you guys are thinking is like, it's one of your birds. But when your birds talk, you know exactly what they say and who they sound like. And this woman does not live in my house. So I'm like really scared. And I'm suddenly like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And I backed up and shut the door of my room and stayed in there. Now I'm stuck cause I'm like, I'm too scared to go downstairs. I let the birds loose. Which birds did I let loose? Did I let all of them loose? Are the crazy ones loose? Maybe they should be loose. Maybe Vinny will get whoever's down there. And I'm like, no Marlon, you gotta think rationally. So I start thinking and I realize one of my best friends, Noora, and her husband, Madi, were babysitting the birds when I was gone. You guys know Noora from a previous video. What is your secret? I know you can't generalize, but what do you think like overall it's been. I think there's a couple of things. One is it's not the quantity of time that you spend with the birds, it's the quality of time that you spend with them. She is great with all of the birds. She's works hard, befriends them, just like feeds them all. They're able to let them all out. Madi plays the guitar. I mean, it's just unbelievable the way they take care of the birds. And Nora told me, she said, I just want to let you know, Merlin is talking like me. And now he sounds like me. And I'm like, oh, that's so funny. That's really cute. So I I started thinking, hmm, I should call Naora and just see. So I call Madi and I say, hey Madi, um, Naora said that Merlin's talking like her. What does he say? Cause I don't want to like, you know, him to just agree because still there could be like a ghost slash murderer downstairs. I don't know, right? I mean, I just can't take the chances. I'm in the house alone and this house is like, I don't know, it's not like the house you want to be alone in and I'm never alone in it. Cause there's always just like a lot of action. So I was just like, He's like, oh, Naora, what does Merlin say? And she's like, oh, he says Merlin. I'm like, that's it? That's what he says, Merlin? Um, she's like, yeah, but like in my voice. And I'm like, um, okay, what else does he say? She's like, well, he says Merlin and he does like the phone making noises. And I'm like, Naora, there is a woman downstairs in my house right now. And I basically need to know if Merlin has ever said hello in your voice. Cause in hindsight, I'm like, maybe it's like a cross between Nora and Maddie's voice. And it kind of sounds like, you know, when you walk in and you're talking to your animals and you're like, Hey, here I am. But it's not my voice. It's not George's voice. Maybe it's the way Nora and Maddie greeted the animals. And maybe they were used to me being gone. So they just assumed that this was her entering the house and that's how they're going to talk. So I'm like, Nora, does he say hello? And she's like, well, you know, he says so many things. I mean, just the way they made the phone ringing and the beeping and my mom was just like mind blown. He does them so perfectly. It's unbelievable. I'm like, Nora, I know this. These are my birds. I know that they do that. Aside from that, does the bird say hello?
hello in your voice. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And Maddie's like, it's the bird. It's the bird. Don't worry. Do you want me to come over? It's the bird. I'll come. I'm like, no, you guys just stay there. LL's gonna come, but I'm gonna stay in the room. Just kind of wait. And then I'm like, no, Aura, this is like really weird. She's like, you're telling me this is weird? Imagine how I felt when I was standing in your house and I suddenly hear myself behind me. And I'm like, oh, you think that's crazy, Nora? How about the fact that I am calling you right now to see if you are possibly downstairs? And she's like, oh yeah, that is pretty weird. And then Maddie's like, it's the bird, it's the bird. And I'm like, I know it might be the bird, but I'm not going downstairs to find out if it's the bird. Because the other thing I didn't tell you guys is that the bird literally does the sound of the door opening. So sometimes I'm home alone and I hear the door opening and I'm like, uh, you know, like I love these shows like 2020 and Dateline and Murder Mystery and all that kind of stuff. And I can't watch it here alone because it'll only be about 10 minutes before my dog finds a squirrel outside or a raccoon that she wants to bark at. And so I think the murderer's outside or 10 minutes before the birds make one of the doors open. And then I'm just convinced that I'm going to die. Long story short, LL arrives and she knows, cause I told her, I'm like, I'm upstairs, I'm hiding. And she's like, all right, let's get this. She was a cheerleader for, shoot, I should know this. One of those football teams, Eagles, probably the Eagles. And she's like a gymnast and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, we'll be good, we'll be good. And then we proceed to check out the rest of the house. I just got off a flight, so I look like an atrocity. I'm gonna put this hat on, but like without makeup, I'm just gonna look like my dad. LL? Hey, what's going on? You I might get the camera. <laughs> you have got to scope. Boogie, boogie. Come in before someone comes in. <laughs> you have got to scope out this bathroom. Okay, all right. Did you really hear somebody? I heard like a woman come in, like come in and say, hello, but like in hindsight. Don't you think it's one of the birds? Yeah, okay. maybe. Right. No, I maybe, but the thing is, I never heard them say this before, but in hindsight, it kind of sounds like Noora. Oh, okay. And she's been watching Yeah, them. I was gonna say she's been taking care of them, so. But I mean, I haven't heard her <laughs> as being here before, so I'm scared, right, you know? Let's go check everything out. Guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see what this is. What was that? That was Merlin. What? What? I just heard. I just heard. What'd you hear? I just heard. That was really weird. I just got goosebumps <laughs> for real. What was it? It was a voice. But one of them, one of them did it. Did that? Huh? that sound like no, it was so weird. It was like a person. It the was like a I'm getting goosebumps. It was like a freaking person. That's what I'm saying, but it feels like it's here. Merlin definitely Shh. did it. But Merlin, Shh. where's Merlin? Right here. Are you making that person noise? Are you doing that? Can you do it again? What did you hear? No, I didn't hear I didn't hear a hello. I heard like a like a like a, a like three words, but it freaked me out, so I really didn't like make it out. But you never heard those words? No, before. no. Are you doing Was it that? a woman? It was kind of like um it wasn't a man, but it was like a, a woman with a deeper voice. Like you know how I have a deep like what I, I'm saying. Yeah, like, I feel like, like I have a deep voice. She doesn't woman. have a deep no, voice. No, she doesn't. I know Nora's voice. What do you say, Vinny? I know because he's. I know. Did you check in there? No, I'm. I'm gonna check the garage. I'm scared to check the garage. You really got me, and it takes a lot to get me. But you do know what that means. You've got one coming to you. No. <laughs> All right, this is clear. This is dead. Clear. Did you do it? Did you do it? What's that, Pat? Come on. What are you gonna do? Bring him to catch the bird? Yes. This coat. You wanna come with me? You gotta protect me. My boyfriend's gonna protect me. What are you gonna do? You're gonna be oh, useless. Yeah. You scary bird. He left. Leo, you're not gonna protect me. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go, go do this. I think you should stay here because you're the baby and I don't want anything. Nothing my baby. You don't want me to leave? That's what he does when he doesn't want me to leave. Okay, we have no urgency here about burglars. 
I'm ready. Did you check your bathroom and everything? My what? Your bathroom? Yeah, that's where I started. I mean, I guess I haven't checked my closet. Where are the lights in this place? Oh, that's just you. <laughs> the new decor in my mother's room that I did. With all this racket, if anyone was... <laughs> you know what my dad said? He says, you guys have too high decibels in your house for anybody to ever come in. And as we're checking the rest of the house, I'm still convinced that there could be a woman in the house or a ghost. You just never know. Turned around on me. Those of you who always wanted to see my weird stuff. Oh my god, go, go! <laughs> so I think my room's good because I hid in there. So you think no one's in here? Nope, nobody's in here. So then, and you did check the bathroom, you're good, right? So then, maybe we should just stuff. Hi, Starbucks! Hi, Starbucks! Yeah, smushy smush. Isn't she the cutest? Is she cute? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Oh, look at the closet! Yeah, I organized it because it literally was making me sick. It looks awesome. Doesn't it? You must feel so accomplished. It makes my autoimmune disease flare. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're good. All good. It's clear. Why do I hear Brando not wearing... Mama! Look at him doing his hunchback clock. Hi! Hi! You came looking for me? <laughs> Are you mad I left? Oh, I won't leave you. I didn't want in case there was somebody scary. I didn't want you to be involved in it. Let's see how our brothers and sisters. Hi, my beautiful baby. Oh, are you excited, baby? Are you ready to come out and terrorize everybody? Come on, Merlin. Hi, handsome. You're my baby. Rocky. Ah. Proud bird. Yeah. Uh, what's going on? This is your landing? What kind of landing is this? So dramatic. Are you trying to find me? Did you like your massage, Leo? Are you tired? Because you're so full. Are you coming to see you, Jealous? Vinny? What are you doing? Guys, Vinny came over here and sat down. <laughs> you want a video right now? <laughs> you want to watch TV? <laughs> What are you jumping from? Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I mean, we got a little bit there of like the inserts and stuff and then what happened with me and LL and like how we checked the whole house and then you got a little bit of the birds and then I basically studied until 4 a.m. with LL, went to sleep, woke up at 7 or 8 a.m. to get ready for class, went to class, came home, and had the whole film crew come over my house to set up for the movie we were doing, and then woke up early on Sunday and filmed a movie all day, which you guys probably all saw on my Instagram. That is it, I gotta go get prepared for my parents to come over. Guess what, guys? Two things I wanna tell you. One, I'm about to play a prank on my parents, okay? Dad, I'm surprised. We have some new family members. 
Uh oh. So make sure you stay tuned for that video because I think it's gonna be good. A lot of you know and love my parents and just love when they're in videos because like Lucy and Desi, it's like just such a comedy show. And two, I just wanna throw this out there because these are in front of me. These are the Vinny Gang notebooks. He says to be clear because you know that he's very clear. But um, when you guys order these online, uh, put in your description if you want me to sign it and I'll write you a little note right here and put a sticker here like I do for you guys just because there's been some confusion if you don't tell me to write a note I won't so you can write that in your description when you order I absolutely love these don't forget to check out my patreon we also have our bird food and our shirts these are my Vinnie gang shirts anything you guys do or purchase from us helps me support the channel helps me keep making videos and it also helps me do better things for the bird community Community, like how you guys becoming subscribers of the Feathered Fun Box helped us to bring toys all the way to Parrots First in Vegas. And I hope to be able to do more of that. I'm sending all my love to the animals in Australia. I love you guys so much. Bye.